adventurous, magical, sparkly, <laughs> challenging. I think magical for sure, like without a doubt, like being on that set was so magical. Delicious. Um, and the sweets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scary and whimsical. With Clara, you get to see a little more into who she is. You see kind of this more vulnerable side because she's just lost her mother and she's full of pain and grief, but yet is still trying to be brave and be there for her family. But what's familiar about her is her bravery and her curiosity, her you know mentality that she can do anything. She's this this world is in danger and she's gonna save it. And it's such a powerful thing, I think, for this generation to see, especially from a young woman, um, you know, to have so much strength and, and power and determination and feel that she can do anything and take on the world. Um, yeah, I mean, that I think that your, your character in particular is just a really, like, powerful, magical character that was nice Thank to you. see. It was a bit different from the, the ballet version, you know, again, it's not just this kind of um, one-dimensional sweet little girl that experiences this crazy thing, but that, you know, there's thought and emotions and... Yeah, she's got things to do. Uh, actually, I turned 16 when we were filming, and everybody was super, super sweet, and we were filming this awesome action sequence, and we came in for a rehearsal, and they surprised me with a cake and all these little things, and it was just amazing. They all say happy birthday, and that's a really special memory that I will always cherish. Um, I think for me, it was just like every day. I wasn't, I wasn't on set for that long. It was like a week, um, but... Um, you know, every day just stepping into this like magical land uh, with the amazing sets that were made and built and so it was every day just being there a part of Disney was magical and amazing. <laughs> it's really cool. I really, really loved Cinderella growing up and I always loved that she was so kind to everyone no matter who they are and she just meant so much to me. So. If a little kid somewhere sees Clara and means something to that person, that would just mean everything to me. It's, it's really special for me, of course, because I'm in the ballet world and the Nutcracker is so much a part of our world, but also being a black woman and being a black ballerina and, and you know, having this next generation be able to see this film and see a brown ballerina princess in a Disney film and it will be normal. It won't be, you know, that's what a ballerina looks like and so that's pretty amazing. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed it because the Nutcracker, the ballet, the book, it's very, very beloved and it's something that everyone really looks forward to during the holiday season. So being able to combine all of those different elements, all of those things that people cherish during the holiday season and also adding little bits of new twists and turns and creating this new adventure but also something that you cherish and love. Do. Um, I think that I, I often just remind myself not to, um, you know, get caught up in like people's words and like give them too much importance and power. Like people that um, you, you know, don't know or, you know, whether it's on social media and things like that, just not to let um, other people's words really ha have too much effect on me. Mm, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Um, for me, I think kind of like if I'm doing something, if I'm a little nervous or, you know, getting ready to do something, I always tell myself, hey, you, you got this, you got this, you can do it. Don't trip. You got this. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you got this. Ooh, um, it wasn't from production, but because we filmed during the fall and winter, my mom and I on my day off, we went shopping and there was like this little nutcracker ornament and I took it with me and I had it in my in my little room that I was staying in and now it's on my desk in my bedroom. It's like my, my mom and I's little nutcracker. But no, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> take one from the set or have anything that I took from the set, but uh, yeah, I've had way too many that I've broken and like mouths have fallen off and jaw, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> that's in the original. I mean, that's in the ballet story. You know that she breaks the nutcracker. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would have to say Philip the Nutcracker. Oh. He's the Nutcracker, and he's just so amazing that. and charming. And Jaden is just 
the best. I really, really loved hanging out with him and doing school and hoarding Maltesers. It was amazing. Well, besides Clara, I think my favorite character is probably um, Mother Ginger, uh, the Helen Mirren character. It's really cool. She's and, cool. And, and so different from the ballet version of that character. I mean, in the ballet, she's just like this big, happy woman with kids under her skirt, which is really strange. But in the movie, um, she's got a darker side to her, so it's really cool. My favorite Disney character is Cinderella because I just absolutely love her and that she's so kind and happy to everyone. I just, I love Cinderella. I loved Belle from Beauty and the Beast. There was, again, I think a similar, like she had like this, not that I want to say masculine side, but it was like something that, you know, is not expected, I think, of a woman, you know, to be intelligent and read books and want to help her father, like similarly to the Clara character, I think, and like being a mechanic and everything. Yeah. But, but then she was so elegant and beautiful. Uh, so I connected with Belle from Beauty and the Beast, for sure.